Hi everybody and welcome to um, this YouTube video about hedgehogs. So this week we're celebrating hedgehogs um, and I'm sure you feel the same way about hedgehogs as I do. They're, they're just the most extraordinary creatures and um, it's Hedgehog Awareness Week and I'm just really proud to live in a village that's all about protecting hedgehogs and works so hard at um, keeping these little guys safe. So today we're going to be doing a little stylized hedgehog. Um, I have done a watercolour hedgehog um, in the past, um, but we're going to do this acrylic stylised one. So all you're going to need today really is just some board, paint it white and um, a flat ended brush and maybe a brush like that. Okay, and then you want a bristly brush, something like this, just so you've got a bit of a bristle or you could use a toothbrush. Okay, anything with a short bristle on will be good. Right, let's get started. I'll go through the colours as well um, on the Facebook broadcast, on the Facebook um, post. Okay, so I'm just starting with my brown. And like I say, I'll, I will mention all these colours to you. So they've got this cute little snout going on, haven't they? So like I say, we're just going to stylise this. So I've drawn out a very heart-shaped hedgehog. So I'm just going to put some of the brown on there around its nose. What I'll do is just to explain to you the shape I've got. So basically I've got a really fat heart and then in the middle of that, I've got a little nose and then I've got two eyes, okay? This sort of shape, like a heart on the side but without the bit that goes in the middle, if you think of them like that. And then two ears, and then we just put the body on and then these two little legs, okay? With his little claw feet. So really, really simple shape that I've drawn out. You'll, you'll see better when I've painted it and you'll be able to copy it. And if you need any help drawing out, just get some help. It doesn't matter. As long as you've done all the painting yourself, we can get some help drawing out, can't we? I'm just going to, just painting that beige colour around the eyes. Like that. And then we're just going to blend some of the colours in. Hopefully those eyes are symmetrical. I think they are. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of white. And I'm just going to put the white on up here. So you can see I've got a little bit of that beige that's gone into the white, and that's fine. It's all nice to blend it. So putting some thick white on. You might need to put a few coats on. We'll have to see, won't we? How it covers. I think, like I always say to you about acrylics, it's better to cover really well. You don't want all the see through bits showing. So, put some white on there for his little furry face. Like that. See, my paintbrush picked up a bit of that brown, that's fine. So, can you see I'm just mi mixing in a bit of that white to the beige colour now? So, we're just blending in, it looks a little bit like fur. That's quite cute. Okay, and now I'm just going to put his eyes in. So you might need your brush, your pointy-ended brush for this. I'm just using a flat-ended brush. So we're just going to do this shape that's like I said, like a, a heart on its side. So that's the pointy bit there. And around. If you want to use a sharpie pen to do this, so you can be really have a really clean line, then that's absolutely fine. Just use whatever you feel comfortable with and make it your own. Put 
Well, I've gone with, this is um, actually Payne's Graves colour. It's like a navy blue, really, but you can use black. It's just I don't tend to use black in any of my artwork. Okay, and then he's going to put his nose, that needs to be right in the middle of wherever you put that heart, near that um, crease of your heart. You just need to put a little nose in there. Equal sides. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of beige under his tummy, under here. Just do this little bit here. Between his legs. They've got quite a soft tummy, haven't they, when they turn over? I hope you've all had the chance to see a hedgehog in your lives. The most unbelievable little creatures. They're so, so special. And is it in Scotland they have white hedgehogs? Is it in Scotland? Yeah. yeah. Or is it the Isle of Wight? I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. There's somewhere they have the albino hedgehogs, haven't they? Okay, so put the brown underneath and then I'm just going to collect some of my Payne's grey or navy blue and I'm just putting a little bit of that in under the chin. And what that does is make it look, it just gives him a bit of a shadow under there so it makes his little head pop. Can you see that little bit of colour that I've just put in? And I just let it blend on the page, you see. And then we're just going to put his little legs in now. So I'm just going back to my caramel colour. Yeah. Just one little leg. And then the other little leg, and they're just sort of curling towards these little legs. And they've got little claw feet, haven't they? Like that. Okay, and then we're just going to pop his little ears in, in the caramel colour too. Makes it look like a little teddy bear when you put these ears in. I'm just trying to be symmetrical. Yeah. Okay, so that's our little hedgehog. And then I'm cleaning my brush off and I'm just going to get a little bit more white and give him a little bit of a shine to his eye. So just a little spot of white, say, there, like that. And a little spot of white there. My white's kind of really thick. There. Okay. And now we're going to do um, all this, all these spikes. And we're going to use really unusual colours for that. So I've chosen, you can choose whatever you like, but I'm going with... Um, like a blush pink colour and an orange and a mustard colour, okay? So I'm going to start with the mustard colour. And I'm just using my flat-ended brush and I'm just popping all the spikes. So the spikes go, if we do the back spikes first, it's probably best. They sort of go around like that and they follow the contours of the body and then they go downwards, okay? Like that. We can, if we do the back ones, and then we'll, we can move forwards with them. So they're just little lines all over, so it's really fun to do. Trying to cover up my pencil marks. But with what we can do to rub those out later, so don't worry too much about If you go in over the ears at all, just don't don't worry, just paint it on again. Just 
sign. We should have some music playing, shouldn't we, Lou? Can we have music up? So the Irish play last time we did a painting, a kids' video, didn't we? Yeah. You could sing to us. Everyone's little spikes on. So these would look nice in any colour. You could go purple and blue, whatever you like. But probably don't choose too many colours. Just try and limit the amount of colours you use. We'll look, and then that will look a little bit more pleasing. So that's that. So I'm going to go in with my orange now. And because I've drawn the shape of his body out, I know not to go beyond that. You can just sort of flick around the outside a bit, but try not to go beyond it because again it just needs to be quite symmetrical Still in orange, so it's lovely together, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, the next colour I'm going to use is going to be pink. So, if you don't like pink, like I say, and you, you know, just choose, just make up the colours you like. Like purples and blues and reds would look amazing together. What other colour combos do you think, Lou? Um, you could maybe have some greens. Yeah, greens and blues, or greens and yellows even, they would look nice. Or even you could go black, couldn't you? Yeah. You could go dark blue and grey. Right, okay, so I'm just going to put some of my pink in. We've got some of the white showing through, that's fine. I'm just trying not to blend the colour too much, so I'm trying to keep that pink because I'm putting it on when the other colour's wet, it, it can blend, and I don't really want it to. I do want the pink to show up Not like that. I just picked up a whole load of orange. Let's get some more pink. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's hedgehogs. Hopefully you'll post them and send them to me on my Facebook page and then I can see what brilliant colour combos you came up with. That'll be really inspiring. Looks like he's just been to a disco or I don't know a punk rockers concert or something, doesn't he? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, I think I'm going to give him some little pink calls just to continue that theme of those bright colours, just like that. Okay, 
And then what we're going to do is just make this a bit softer around his head. So I'm just going to get a little bit more white. Just water mine down because it's so thick as my mind. And I'm just, you see here, I'm just going to soften that off into his spikes. going to put a little bit more brown just to make that look a little bit more pleasing here. Just like there. Just have another coat of colour. There, that looks a bit more like fur now, doesn't it? I think I'm just going to soften off his legs a little bit as well. Just adding a little bit of white, just to make them a little bit more furry. And just have them a bit more heavier with the paint because it was a bit see-throughy. Okay, so that's him. So now we're just going to add a little bit of extra pizzazz to him. Sorry, I'm just going to just do around there, just around his ears. He did need me up. Okay, so now we're just going to get our bristly brush, okay, and I'm adding a little bit of water to it and then getting rid of that water and I'm just going to pick up the colours that I've used, my bright colours, so I'm just going to get a little bit of pink, okay, and then all I'm going to do is with my finger, I'm going to just drag back like that, okay, so just grab a piece of paper just to protect my little hedgehog. And then, woo, there, just going to have a little bit of colours coming out from there. Let's get the other colour, what other colours we use, some orange, so a little bit of water because otherwise the paint won't spray very well. Okay, just covering my hedgehog and putting a little bit of orange. Like that, and then we used this mustard colour, didn't we? And there we are. There we have our little hedgehog all finished. I hope you enjoy doing him.